Howdy y'all. Got a few folk asking for a tutorial on how to do steppies, physics based steppies. So that's what we're here to do. Now, some of y'all might be asking, well, what do you mean by physics based steppies? So basically, if you look at my model here, when I go to do steps, it is hard coded into the angles. So what does that mean? Well, if you look, when I tilt my head from side to side, I do my step. But if I do not complete my tilt, my leg, you see that there, kind of just hanging in the air. So the way I fix that is by tying the steps to physics. And I'm going to show y'all how to do that now. So this here is Jelly Jam's model. They're a non-binary clouded leopard tadpole mix. Just the cutest little bean you ever did see. And with their model, I added physics to their steppy. So I'm just going to show you how this kind of came about. So it's added to the front legs here. So I'm just going to open this up so you can see all my deformers here. But here at the bottom, on the bottom most, I got one that says steppies. Each one of these respectively has these parameters here. And you can see... From negative 15 to 5, positive 15, they ain't got nothing on them. It's just sitting there. But then at the highest point, at 30, it goes up. And negative 30, it goes up. Now, for me, I like to make one side a little bit higher than the other. So that when you go to step out, you have a bigger step. than when you go in, it has like a, a lesser step. Now, that's totally up to you if you want to do that. If you want to keep them exactly the same on each side, you're more than welcome to do that. It won't change much. It's just, just a little thing I like to do. Now you're going to need to separate these steppies for each side. So this here is our right leg. Up here we got our left leg and you see they got their own parameter as well. Now it's important to note here that I enjoy putting my steppies on my angle Z. So I'm doing this tutorial as if it's on angle Z. So if you look here and we click on angle Z here, my little Z deformer. And then we go up to our angles. You can see I've got the feet sliding. Now if you prefer to make that on angle X or not angle Y, whatever you feel like doing, just make sure that on the regular angle augment that you've got, that you're making the foot slide so that it'll actually step out while we're doing stuff. So once you've got these made up, now we need to go into the physics settings and, uh, and configure it all. So modeling, physics settings, and there's our baby right there. You're just going to need to add yourself another physics uh, property here. We're going to call it steppies left or steppies right, depending on which one you're doing. Now how I have this set up here, I've got angle Z, position X. Alright, now if you don't understand why we're doing position X instead of angle, because automatically it's going to put you on angle. We want position X. Basically the best way to explain this is position X is going to uh, return to its original form. Angle is going to do its physics, but it's going to stay in a certain position. So we want position X because we want it to return to its original position when it's done doing its little physics thing. So angle Z or body Z, whatever you prefer, just make sure it's Z. Position X, 100% effectiveness. Now over here, on normalization of input, we are gonna put, uh, angle don't matter because we're not dealing with angle, all we're dealing with is position X. So for position X, since I'm dealing with the left side, I'm gonna put zero as the minimum, zero as the setting, and 30 as the maximum. Now if we're dealing with the right side, it's gonna be the opposite. Negative 30, zero, and zero. Okay, now, when we get to our output settings, depending on if you're on your left or your right, go ahead and put your steppies in. I personally like having it at 100% effectiveness and 45 uh, scale. For the pendulum, which you're going to have to set up before you even get to this part anyway. For the pendulum, you're going to put 10 for the duration, 0.2 for the shaking, 1.5 for reaction time, and 2 for overall acceleration. Now that's what I have found works the best. You can kind of adjust these if you want it to be a softer, um, a softer step. So like if we look here, if you want it to be a softer step, you can actually lower the reaction time and it will make the set step a little bit softer. It has a little bit more hang time. So if you prefer more hang time, you can do that. If you want it to be more of an aggressive step, you can increase that. Um, and you'll see some more aggressive steps. Really just kind of play around with it. Honestly, I'm still learning what each one of these parameters mean. Um, so maybe once I get it all figured out in my head, I'll make a little physics tutorial on just like getting used to what's what and, and who's who and stuff like that. But more or less, that's basically how that works. And then once you turn on tracking, which I'll do that now, in tracking, you'll see we've got steppies that step no matter how much or how little you you tilt your head. See, now if we, we do a side by side between my model and Jelly Jams here, You'll see, while mine is still hanging in the air, Jelly's, their, their leggy just went ahead and stepped on down when I, when I stopped moving. 
So that's the biggest difference there. They might be asking, well, now why do we wait until 15, negative 15 to even start the movement? That's because sometimes you might not want the steps to be going when you're just kind of bobbling your head a little bit, right? You don't want, want this like what I've got where your legs are kind of like, burp, 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 burp. so um, but if you do like that, if you want to be able to do a little jig every time you bobble your head, you can just adjust these numbers to be a little bit closer to zero or just go ahead and start it at zero if you want. Just kind of play around with it and see what you get. So if you look here, when we do a little bob with the uh, with jelly jams, it's not quite as much of a step as you get with mine. You see that? And that's because of that parameter we set up. So it really only steps out when we're actually trying to reach out. So that's pretty much it that's how you do it if you got any questions please feel free to comment down below i'll do my best to answer as many as i can otherwise i sure hope this helps and if you ain't subscribing go ahead and click that subscribe button to join the herd thank y'all so much for watching and i'll see y'all next time